Robin Hood Part 1 Here is a story of the most famous hero who ever lived, Robin Hood. He lived in a Sherwood forest just outside Nottingham town with his big friend Little John and his outlaw band of merry men. Yes, Robin Hood was an outlaw. You see, while good King Richard was off defending England, Richard's brother, the silly and wicked Prince John, took over the throne. Prince John was just as greedy as he was silly. The more taxes and gold he collected, the more he wanted. He sent his sheriff to get every coin in Nottingham, every little skipper's birthday coin. Robin and his band of merry men fled to the forest and became outlaws. They outsmarted Prince John at every turn. They stole the gold from the rich and gave it right back to the poor. And Robin was the boldest, craftiest of them all. Meanwhile, in the castle, the kind and beautiful Maid Marian sat wistfully at her window. She and Robin Hood were secretly in love. Oh, if only Robin Hood and I could marry, she said with a sigh. But with King Richard away, it's quite impossible. I hope Robin has not forgotten me. And deep in the Sherwood forest, Robin Hood was thinking of his lady love. Oh, little John, said Robin Hood, can such a high-born lady as made Marion ever marry an outlaw? I hope she has not forgotten me. One day a grand event took place, a tournament of golden arrows to judge the best archer in the kingdom. Archers from all over England began to arrive in Nottingham. A crowd gathered to eat, play games and watch the grand golden arrow contest. As for the prize, it was to be a kiss from the lovely Maid Marian. I will win that contest, proclaimed Robin. The fanfare sounded and the drums rolled to announce the start of the contest. The archers marched past Prince John. Hmm, thought Mad Marian. I think that stork looks like... The stork winked at Maid Marian. Of course, the stork was the best of all the archers. Even when the villainous sheriff tried to mess up the stork's aim. He hit a perfect bull's eye every time. Prince John smiled slyly. The best marksman in the kingdom could only be... To be continued. <laughs>